Hey, MC here, doing a little bench work, piecing together the Bear Creek transplant to an 8.6 blackout faxon. And I had a viewer text with a question about the Bear Creek Arsenal 10 millimeter. So this is for Uncle Jim. Uh, no, not a biological uncle, but just a channel name. So this is unloaded, no ammunition. This is the 16 inch barrel, transplanted onto a pistol. So bolt carrier group, uh, typical blowback, uh, full length buffer tube, uh, buffer spring and tube, or full length bolt carrier group. The buffer tube and spring is required for this platform. So let's toss this back up here. This is the pistol barrel, came shipped with it originally. So the question was, um, is that case supported? How much support is actually in there? So I've got an old uh, case gauge from Midway, been laying around a while, but still seems to work. I also have some Underwood uh, 10 millimeter, 200 grain jacketed hollow points. We'll give those a try in the case gauge. down nice and flush side to side a little bit of movement let's drop them into the barrel and of course um, because of this is a blowback style the there's needs to be room for an extractor on there so it's not going to sit totally flush because there's no cuts in the barrel for your extractor to slide down into uh, side to side movement. Uh, a little bit, I mean, probably about the same as what was in that headspace gauge. I don't think enough that's going to cause any rupturing of the cartridge. Let's try. S and B. Uh, this is 180 grain, 10 millimeter. That fits a little bit tighter. But I have a feeling that this chamber has probably got a slight taper to it. Um, you can see the feed ramp is built into the barrel. There is also a slight cone. It's uh, flat across the outside radius of the barrel. But then there's a slight cone here. And then definitely, keep myself in the camera, but definitely a uh, pronounced feed ramp gouged into the front of the barrel. So your ceiling surface is essentially just this uh, outside radius. Let's kick on the light. I don't know if this is going to show too much. I mean, there's a slight pocket there. It's not a lot. And there's not really a lot of movement side to side. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't rattle in the chamber. Let's try a different brand ammunition. Uh, oh shoot, these are some old Spear 40 Smith & Wessons. Boy, it'd be nice to be able to get 250 of these for 45 bucks again, wouldn't it? Again, 40 Smith & Wesson, you see people on the internet running these in their 10 millimeter, but that rolls down flush or a little bit below flush. So because they had space on the brass, it's unlikely you're going to be able to run and cheat and run 40 Smith & Wesson in a 10 millimeter barrel with this Bear Creek platform. 
you really shouldn't be able to do it with a Glock or anybody else's either, but just the fact that your extractor hangs onto the rim, um, it kind of works, but not necessarily the recommended way to do it. And these are some reloads. Um, nope, I don't think these are. I think these are the Hydroshocks. Yeah, that's definitely a Hydroshock. About the same amount of movement back and forth as what the Underwood had. About the same amount in a headspace gauge as well. Let me grab a spent 10 millimeter a second. All right, I got a handful of random brass. These haven't been punched uh, or sized. So these are all still... Ha, huh, that one won't fit, will it? That's a 45. But it does not want to go back into a headspace gauge. You can see there's a slight bulging on that. Same thing, does not want to go back into a headspace gauge. Doesn't want to go in. So as far as bulging goes, hmm, I don't know if they just came out of, eh, doesn't really want to go into that either. Yeah, those fit tight, but again, these are, these are fired as well. Let me grab a Glock barrel. All right, Gen 4, Glock 29. Unloaded, no magazine. Let's get the barrel off from this thing, see how the cartridges fit inside of that. So, spent cartridge, slides right in. Slides right in. So, I guess if you're asking how much slop is in a Bear Creek barrel, I'd say the Bear Creek barrel is actually tighter tolerances than a Glock 29. Hope that answers your question. Thanks for watching.